Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Rough Talk VR. Doing things a little bit different today. Not talking interviews, not, you know, reviewing a game. Today we're celebrating our 100th episode, as well as just about our one year podcast anniversary. It's May 2nd, this is dropping. Uh, you know, we started the podcast May 19th, so, you know, the 12, the 12 month mark. It's the anniversary month, man. Absolutely. So we're, we're hijacking the Monday time slot. Yep. We uh, talked to production. They were cool with it. <laughs> we got the okay from. We got the okay from the boss. We're good. <laughs> we can steal this time slot just for this week only. Yeah, the the podcast poot Reggie told us it would, it would Said be Said it was a go. <laughs> <laughs> so it had to be done. No, so. just a, a quick little, you know, quick little thank you to everybody who's listened and where we've been and where we're going and. Yeah, just a reflection on the the last year. I never would have thought that we would have banged out a hundred episodes in a year. So this journey's been been pretty crazy. Yeah, it's exceed. Well, what's even crazier is, and I I have the picture. I know you have it. Picture of like a little two foot by two foot table with two Yeti mics, mm-hmm. a couple cups of coffee, maybe a pop filter, <laughs> and and we were, you know, laptop. But we were dedicated. Terrible laptop. Let me say that it's crapped out on us mid interview one time. Oh yeah, that thing broke. Terrible. We, we had a new laptop the next week. Yep. That's when we started spending money. And then you'll, you know, <laughs> geez, by like episode three, we had newer mics. So, you know, it's 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 been a fun journey. And I never would have thought, you know, that we would have met so many cool developers. We would have, I mean, our subreddits hit over 200 people. Mm-hmm. Our Discord's at like 60, uh, which we just started, you know, not too long ago. It's, it's like mm-hmm. I never would have thought that we would have met so many cool listeners who enjoy the show. They give feedback. They engage. The developers that we've met, they've all been so cool, you know. I don't know. This journey's been much more than I thought it would be in the past year. Yeah, and if people don't know, it's like we are father and son, and we had talked for years about doing a podcast and had kicked around a couple of different ideas, and we both, like, instantly took the took the bait on the quest, too, like hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, it, and it became like, this all... This will be it. This is our start. So we'll start here with with our podcast for um quest two and then we'll we'll see where our future takes us from there but no it was something that we just we'd always wanted to do and i've been again i've been loving the last year i mean in, in the growth of everything you know without talking numbers or anything we we've just we've been in over three thousand different cities over you know just under nine or just under a hundred hundred countries and you know it's not like there's 300 countries in the world no, just, I think there's 195 countries, and the one that really blew me away was the, you hear 2,800 or 3,000 cities. I was like, what? That doesn't seem like as much in the world, but there's only 10,000 cities mm-hmm. in the world. So I'm like, holy shit. So yeah, some of the, besides our, our local, we'll say, you know, North American um, growth, I've, I've been blown away with... Um, all the different countries that actually listen. I think that just shows to show how much of an international community VR and gaming is and in is. general. Oh yeah, we we figured that out when we started interviewing developers mm-hmm. and like, wow, that's cool. They all have accents. Yeah. Is there any American developers? But yep. you see, like, a, there's a big. Um, we we're just talking Sweden. Yeah. Sweden pumps out some shit. Uh, I haven't done the numbers, so I have a feeling that more than fifty percent of our interviews have been people who live overseas. Yeah, I would think so easily. You know? it, it's easier for me to like I could probably easily sit here and go well, I can tell you who we talked to that wasn't outside the <laughs> yeah. country yeah. you know it's and then even one of those was not born in the country but yeah. he's here now but no I mean uh, the overseas um, developers are you know and prior to um, everything going off in in with Russia and Ukraine it's like there's some development teams in Ukraine as well. So it's like there's yeah, good content I, all over the world right now. I mean, Iron Guard, when we talked to them, they're split United States, you know, Ukraine, and Russia. Yeah, that dude, that's got to suck. But, hey, he's running his own little NATO, and he makes it work. So, I mean, what can you say? But, no, it's, it's been – this ride has been above and beyond what I've, I've personally expected or, you know, we all set little goals and – little landmarks in our own head of what we expect from something but this one has exceeded it yeah yeah you know it for a year one yeah i couldn't be more happy yeah we have obviously you know the geez these guys have probably heard it so many times i feel bad even saying it but you know obviously it's 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 obvious our our long-term goal is to be full-time podcasters that's the dream but that doesn't happen overnight so you know Unless someone's got a fat checkbook, <laughs> yeah, you know, and a real generous bank account. No, it, no. It, it happens with 
you know, obviously we, we have to stay up on our episodes and reviews, but you know, the, the community makes a, a big difference in that. And there's some people like, you know, we have one guy on our subreddit and our discord to be, to be technical shoes, you know, and shoes. Ev- he goes through every episode and makes shoes these, is a shit, man. Yeah. He goes through, he makes these, uh, kind of like different funny moments. He'll take, take the a quotes. Yeah. The different quotes, highlights. different timestamps. He'll count how many times we say hundred percent because which I think I pretty much, and I didn't deliberately cut it out after making the yeah, joke that I would. Yeah, but you become a little, you know, you start to catch yourself. Every now and then. I mean, shit. Mo- if you listen to the earlier ones, I was laying heavy on the 100%. <laughs> now every time I, I start to say it, like organically even, like I'm just, I'm saying it, I feel like, ooh, I'm letting one go, <laughs> you yeah, know, so. but I don't ever not say it. So and I mean, geez, we're wearing a hundred percent T-shirts inspired Hell inspired yeah. by it. So and he'll put funny gifts along with them. So he, it's a good time there. And Big shout out to him. Honestly, some of the shit he posts, I'm like, did I really say that? And yeah. I'll go back and I'll listen to the episode and I'll be like, holy shit, that was good. Mm-hmm. That Can't, was good. You're not catches slipping, the moment good. Yeah, you're not slipping one by shoes. And then we know we've had a couple, couple of our monthly supporters who supported us. You know, for the majority of the time that. You know, we've been around, you know, Bam, it's fluffy, man, TF. So mm-hmm. that was literally like from, from like launch forward. So that's, that was, that blew me away. And dude, since, so last time we did one of these check ins was oct- October mm-hmm. 2021. That mm-hmm. was our journey thus far episode. I, I, remember. I think we were five months in. Yeah. So, you know, at that point, we were talking about how, yeah, you know, same thing we're saying now. We want to be full time one day, but we can't wait till we get our first sponsors everything like that and oh, since yeah. then <laughs> since then we've locked in as, as sponsors you know in the past we had zencaster mm-hmm. uh you know we have kiwi design you know we have manscaped yep. it's like to go from just you know seven months ago we were saying i can't wait till we get our first sponsor and, and you know since then we've had three it's like the the growth of the the podcast has been cool we've done 28 developer interviews we've interviewed 28 different people that's that's so cool it's funny because when we started I did, thought I would enjoy the gameplay aspect more than the interview aspect for some reason. I think it's just because it's gaming and mm-hmm. you're talking about it, right? But I, I fucking love the, the interview aspect more than the actual gaming. Oh, it grew on me so much. I was so nervous to do it the first couple ones that we did. And then now I, I look forward to it. I get so excited. When I see the opportunity that we get to talk to that person, yeah. you know, we have some interviews coming up that, you know, I, I never like to... Don't nope, promote no them till they're thing. recorded because life happens. We we live in, you know, 2022 and today is different than tomorrow. So I don't like to, to promote it till it's recorded, ready to go. But we have some fun stuff coming up, too. So I get so excited when we get the opportunity to talk to these developers. Yeah, dude. I mean, if you look at studios we've talked to, it'd probably be easier to troll through and go, who haven't you talked to? Yeah. And it's like so many of them I'd, I'd love to, to revisit, you know, with they've since had more titles drop or, oh, or yeah. updates no i don't think there's a developer we've talked to that we wouldn't be able to talk to again yeah so no it's, it's been a fun journey we've gotten some some nice swag from a couple different developers yeah you know golf plus sent us an, a beautiful package yep pixel pixelity games yep which i'm <laughs> still waiting to drop on the quest too yep eternal starlight sent us the the little mr Doc- chinchin or dr yeah, chinchin Dr. I, Dr. I, I love that we got a nice Demio box from Resolution, totally baseball stickers. Yeah, all so, this will be displayed and you'll be we, able to yeah. see it as soon as we can lock into a uh, full full studio. That's part of the the dream to go to That's go full next, time. Yeah, the growth. I mean, it's like Except we're 1 year in. If you would have asked me before we started, you know, where do you see yourself 1 year, 2 years, 5 years, 10 years, whatever, uh I probably wouldn't have said here for the 1 year. So I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I think everything is exceeded. I'm studio is a big one to me though yeah like that's idea. that's definitely the goal and like you know we're always ha- we're always say almost every episode you know subscribe rate us five stars and you know we flip through our our apple reviews and it's like you know we're up to 19 five star reviews on apple we've got 35 reviews on spotify it's like yeah. things are getting we're, we're getting there and youtube it, it's, is growing youtube's growing it's you know it's it's although it's all, I, <coughs> i'll it, argue the youtube it's like you know, you got that, a face for radio for a reason. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely uh, got a prettier voice than I do face, I'd say. And I think podcasting just in general podcast as a format. Yeah, yeah. I got a podcast face. Podcast face. And uh, I, podcasting just works better on podcast apps than YouTube anyway, because you close out YouTube unless you pay for it. Then it closes out. It's 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 not like a, a podcasting platform. It's, mm. it's 
But nonetheless. It's the residual of a podcast yeah. is all it is. Yeah, but all this growth, this is all because of the listeners who every every episode, every week, they're tuning in. It's, you know, big thanks to you guys. Yeah, and it's girls. All, and <clears throat> it's literally all. And it's funny because we've seen some of the demographic for for our program. And um, it's definitely it's definitely growing. And it's definitely evolving from, I'll say, the original from the original listener based listening base to what it is now, it's definitely has expanded to um I'll say even a younger a younger generation. Well, no, it's definitely cool to see the the way things have been going, and I I can't wait to see you know where we're at year two, year three, you know, in the same way that we, you know, look back at oh you know remember when we were saying we wish we could you know can't wait till we get our first sponsors. Yeah, I hope we can look back on this episode and go oh, that's cute. You guys wanted a studio. <laughs> that's cute. You know, it's like. No, nah, everything's actually, everything's really good. I mean, we could never do it without people actually listening. And that's what really pushes the drive. It's like, there's some weeks um, you'll send me messages and feedback that you've gotten from people and such. And it's like, wow, okay. Makes me want to do more. I just want to do more. I want to do more. Yeah, it's it sounds silly, but a year in and still whenever I see that comment on Instagram or Twitter... Or I see a Reddit comment and somebody's like, hey, I'm loving the podcast or I love this episode. It's like, dude, it makes my day. It's no, like, absolutely. I can't wait to, to record again now. You know, it's like. <laughs> you know what one of my favorite comments to ever get is? What's that? When, um, I'll say it's one of my favorite developer comments to get. When we review a game, even without talking to a developer, like about their game or whatever. And we've spoken to developers that have said it too, is like, you guys actually got it. You got the game. You mm -hmm. you you understood what we were going for here. Um, cutting through all the smog and bullshit that exists out there. So when the people who made the game hear your review and they're like, you know, I appreciate that. You actually got what I was trying to accomplish. Um, yeah, that always that, that adds self validity. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like you know, I mean, shit. I've been gaming since since the seventies, but does that add any more validity to me than someone who might go, well, I have a PhD in games. It's like, huh, well, it kind of does to me. So when I hear that shit and it's reoccurring or people who send messages to say, Hey, you know, I, I listened to what you guys said about this game and I, I bought it and Holy shit. I'm so happy. I did. Mm -hmm. No, that makes my day. It's like, no yep. way. Every, I think that's an everybody win situation. There's not a person that loses in that. And, and at the same time when we're to know that you have that influence, or like well, yeah, you know, somebody heard what you said. You know, sometimes recording it because we're podcasting. It's not like there's people in front of us. It feels like father and son talking. Yeah. So it's like to get that feedback. It's like wow, you 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 listened. Mm -hmm. It impacted you, and you went and you made a decision based off of it, and you're happy on it. Like wow, I, I mind blown. I also like that we don't um, we don't fluff Makes anything. So it's like the reviews are honest, the opinions honest. You know, not everything is all. You know, a cherry on top and sprinkled with love. Sometimes there's some brutal honesty on mm -hmm. a game that has yeah. to be said or whatever, and it's just the reality. But it's, you know, never once, knock on wood, have we gotten any negative feedback oh. about, like... There's been a couple ones that we wrap up when we go, eee, let's see how this... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've legit... There's been a few that and I've I've reviewed that I've, like, personally been like, wow, I I feel bad that that was my score. Or that but, maybe I harp too negatively on one thing. Yeah, but what am I going to do? Am I going to lie to mm -hmm. myself and anybody who, you know, and that's what really is, like, it's easy to say, like, oh, I'll say whatever I got to say, but that's not true. Not if people are going to send you messages and thank you for, you know, saying, hey, that game was worth it, or hey, that game wasn't worth it, or you were right about this, or, mm -hmm. or you were even wrong about this. Yeah, it's so like, you can't. You can't bullshit at all like that. Yeah, no. So to everybody who's subscribed, everybody who's listening to our episodes, who's on our subreddit commenting or great or community upvoting <laughs> or our community or, rocks, dude. Yeah, and ah uh, man, you know, even just the people listening and and even if they're not on there, just the people who are listening regularly, it's like it's it, it's amazing to know. But yeah, we got it. We get, our our online community is getting pretty kick ass. Yeah, and they're very. The helpful. Discord's getting a lot of fun. Very helpful, generous. It's like, you know, I don't know all the people be behind the keyboard so i just see the words but it's like no toxicity at all in our community no um again people post and, and it's funny because you would think if somebody posts a question that means like one of us has to answer it but it's mm -hmm. like no it's like this community is it's a self-sufficient organism with 
I'm thinking about getting a Quest or has anybody ever tried, you know, this headset or, or um, attachment or whatever? And there's always somebody who's like... Anybody try this game? Yeah. I mean, it's it's been pretty... That was a side of it I didn't even think about. Yeah. But no, it's like shit. The community side has been been really fun to see. Yeah, so I just... I it's can't, trippy to see our subreddit at over 200. Can't the, be more grateful for every single person that listens. Yeah. No, I'm... And I'll shout out our significant others who have to tolerate what is, you know, essentially another full-time work day. Yeah, it's... It, on what is both of our others' time. Yeah, a couple hours of content isn't a couple hours of work. That's not the way it goes. No. Anybody who's ever done any production, they'll they'll know that. Mm-hmm. Probably roll their eyes and go, you guys do that every Especially without time. a permanent setup right now. You know, we do our setup, our takedown. We're grassroots right now. Yeah, we're, we're starting from we're the bottom. The, yeah, and honestly, you know... It wouldn't be. I don't think it'd be as fun if you just no. came out of the gate with. I'm loving it. Couple and hundred G's, and we're like, "Hey, go nuts, dude!" Uh, to <clears throat> to see the growth, to see the way it's it's developed. Mm-hmm. You know, there's times that we reflect on maybe the stats of you know where things were nine months ago, and it's like, wow, you know, our subreddit had fifteen, twenty people, whatever, and it's I don't know. Hey, but it all started with one. Yeah, if we didn't get to see that that growth from exactly from we have somebody on our subreddit. Uh, hollow fan. I gave him the the subreddit tag of first fan because he was our fan. first subreddit follower. You know, to see it grow from one to two hundred, I, I agree it wouldn't have been nearly as fun as if we came out the gate with a following or yeah, anything like, like pre-existing, that. Yeah, you know, we it's, just carried over. Yeah, it's all been organic. You know. Yeah, no, the growth is real, and I, you know, I I got nothing but we try to keep grateful things, things to say. Yeah, we try to keep things as real as possible. That's yeah. the way it goes in here. There's no bullshit. <laughs> no bullshit. And maybe some bullshitting, but not bullshit. Yeah. You know, at the end no, of the day. No lying. We might we might jibber jabber way too long. I feel like. Yeah. If you listen. How the hell you know. did that go an hour? <laughs> no, we're we're deliberately making this one short too. Yeah. Uh, I was taking a look at our last uh journey thus far episode. I was like, Yeah, it was probably like what, twenty minutes? No. Nope. We pulled up fifty six minutes. Just under an hour. Like, what the hell is our problem? What are we talking about? talking about that glass of water baby yeah <laughs> yeah there it is so yeah to do one on a glass of water i can't say it enough you know uh thank you to everyone and uh if you have any suggestions you have you know anything you want to say you want to interact with us directly or other fans like i always say go check out that subreddit go check out the discord make some game recommendations you know yeah absolutely we have a lot of fun things in the the works and i don't know i'm excited for another year from another now. year to come yeah. yeah this is our celebratory month so yep. the month of May is officially our anniversary month. Yep. We've been podcasting for one year and we have not missed a week. No. Not yet. Not at all. Nope. We've had weeks we drop one episode. Mm-hmm. We've had weeks we drop two. Some weeks we've Some even dropped three. Dropped three. But we have yet to not drop one. Knock on wood. So, no, I'm I'm proud of um, everything that's been accomplished. Yeah. Definitely. And, uh, and the direction. The direction's spot on yeah so again thank you to all the listeners and uh thank you guys stay tuned for wednesday's review for uh cities vr take care